Hello, welcome to The Daily Politics. David Cameron is preparing to set out a five-year plan to tackle homegrown extremism. Asking if Jeremy Corbyn could be the next Labour leader. All of that coming up in the next hour with us for the duration. Two new MPs, the Labour MP for Great Grimsby, Melanie On, and the Conservative MP for Tunbridge and Morling, Tom Tugendhat. Welcome to the view. Now, first today, let's talk about Liz Kendall's weight. Big issue that, or not, because the Labour leadership contender was rather angry when a journalist from the Mail on Sunday asked her about just that. Let's listen to what she had to say about it on Pinar's politics yesterday. The question, Melanie, on Simon Walters did ask George Osborne about his weight before he had shed a couple of stone through the famous 5-2 diet. Now, would you be offended if you were asked about your weight? Yes. What would you absolutely. say? Absolutely. I probably would be about as polite as Liz Kendall was to the Daily Mail journalist. Yeah, I mean, is it really off bounds for journalists to ask personal questions like, how much do you weigh? I think it's silly. I mean, I, I, I certainly don't support it, but I mean, you know... In my own life, I've been asked constantly about my weight and... Uh, and Have you? What, by journalists? Yeah, no, by, by fellow soldiers, actually, who are constantly telling me that I... Oh, so this was like in I your... I a bit more fizz and... Uh... Is that right, in your past <laughs> life? But yeah. that, I suppose, is one of the general conversations you get, do you? It is amongst you... the general conversations that you get. But as a politician, you haven't been asked. I know actually, a... I, I, it was pointed out to me by uh, one of the members of my association that I had possibly put on a little weight since the election, so... Uh... So, are you surprised then? You see, maybe Liz is wrong, maybe men are being asked, and certainly if you look at politicians, they take a lot of care over their appearance, and maybe they should. Uh, I think I, 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 it's the first time I've ever sort of <laughs> had anybody, um, you know, in, ask this question of me. I have to be perfectly honest about it. I think that it's just not relevant, to be perfectly honest. Yes, image is an issue, and, you know, people will... When you're coming on TV, of course, you know, you don't want to look like you've just uh, fallen out of bed, to be honest. <laughs> Which but, you don't, Melanie, um, you'll be pleased to you. know. Um, but at the same time, you know, is it is it relevant? Was Liz right to sort of, uh, you know, back away from it? I think the comparisons were between her and Kate Middleton, and it's uh, moving further towards, you know, sort of creating people into personalities um, above and beyond their role in politics, which, after all, is a day job, is something that people are, are doing not to, uh, you know, be on the front page of a newspaper. Right, well, I mean, some people might say George Osborne and his hair has become quite a big issue. The changing of the style, pointed out at Prime Minister's questions. So image does become quite a dominant theme, doesn't it, for politicians? Well, I think image uh, matters in the sense of the way you project yourself. But if it matters at all, it's, it's it's sorry. If what matters at all is ideas, then the image is only a vehicle for selling them. It's not. Uh, it's not the essential part. I'm, you're, I'm afraid the first person who's mentioned George Osborne's hair to me. But uh, so really, haven't, you haven't noticed. You don't say I, you I'm haven't really noticed. Sorry to say you this, must, but I haven't noticed. You haven't noticed the change, noticed the change in style. No, I'm afraid I haven't. Have you? Yes, oh, I've really. noticed definitely. Yeah, George Osborne's undergone a, a, a big transformation over the last few years as he uh, prepares himself, I presume, to uh, step into David Cameron's shoes at the uh, earliest available well, opportunity. Clearly, commenting on his looks then is acceptable. But uh, <laughs> I, 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 I barely notice these things. I, I listen to what they say, and I. But I wouldn't ask read. him directly. George, you would, how much oh, weight have so you it's lost? It's OK to comment on them behind his back. It's <laughs> yeah. not asked, OK to ask Although them Although it is back. national television. Yeah, I was going right. to say, you're not doing it quite behind his back. Yeah, Let's okay. park the issue of <laughs> hair and weight. Now, it's a big day in the House of Commons today, even this close to recess, as Ian Duncan-Smith introduces his party's much-heralded welfare reform and work bill. It'll be a big test for Labour as they grapple with whether to oppose the bill, which introduces a whole raft of welfare cuts first announced by George Osborne in his summer budget earlier this month.